Hello everyone, I'm Judy and you're watching Stream Rolling. Today, I'm going to review the Wilderness Systems 15 amp hour lithium battery. I'm going to open the box for us and see what we have in the box. <clears throat> I'm not going to do a whole box and show you all the wrappers and all the other stuff. So what you get is you get a battery. It's not that big. It's about as big as my hand. Or palm of my hand anyway. And you get a cord, and this is for 12 volts, and it is bare on one end, so you can um, attach your fish finder to it. Now, this thing will only work on like five inch fish finders. I've got a hook two five that I did some um, uh, experiments with, with this battery, and I'll let you know about that later. And then I've got the charging cord. It's just a USB cord. And again, they do have O-rings to keep the water out. And let's see, you've got your wire connectors and they give you the shrink wrap. So you got everything you need to attach this to a fish finder or make your own battery box with it. It's got one 12, out, 12 volt out outlet and it's got two USB out, five volt outlets. Now I wish they had given us two 12 volt outlets instead of two USBs. I'll tell you why later on. And it also gives you just the one uh, five volt in. And as far as I know, uh, Wilderness has a, a solar panel that you can use and go in at, to give yourself some power. I guess if you're out camping and you're not, you don't have um, an outlet, uh, electrical outlet to be able to get power into this to repower it. NACWA has one as well and they use Gold Zero. So, I'm not sure if I can add a Gold Zero solar panel to this, but I don't think I'll ever need that. But anyway, it's available to you if you wanna go onto the Wilderness Systems website and buy their solar panel to help charge it. Now, I read a review on ACK's um, uh, website, and basically a couple of people said that when you turn off your fish finder, that the system would turn off. And if you were out kayaking or whatever, and you turned off the fish finder because you wanted to conserve a little bit of your battery, that when you went to turn it back on, the battery would turn off. Well, that may have been true in 2017 when those reviews were, were, um, were being written, but I think Wilderness has already made an upgrade because I ran this continuous uh, for over 24 hours. And it ran my Hook 2.5 for 12 hours continuously on the brightest setting. Now, during that time, I turned off my fish finder, I turned it back on, I turned it off for 30 minutes, turned it back on for two hours, turned it off for another hour, and just went back and forth, turning it off and on, and I never had to reset this. Once I pressed the on button, and all five of these came on, unless I go now and double click this to turn it off, it won't turn off until I physically go and double click it and turn it off. Again, it only takes one click to turn it on and it'll stay on forever. It'll just stay here until it finally drains itself. So whatever issues they had back in 2017 are no longer an issue anymore. So when you're looking at a battery that costs $124.99 and if you wait for ACK's um, uh, coupons or 15% off coupons, it doesn't, it's, it's not that much, but I just bought this one off the REI website and I got 20% off, free shipping, and I paid $108 for it. Tax, title, license, everything. And, uh, and you're getting 15 amp hours rather than the 10 hours that the NACWA gives you. I'm not bashing NACWA or anything because I'm still thinking about getting one and maybe possibly doing some reviews. The same type of experiments that I did with this, I'm trying to do with the NACWA. So going from there, like I said, when I ran all my experience, I'm sorry, experiments, uh, the battery ran fine. I was very surprised with it. The only thing is that I did something, I let it run down and when it gets down to the last 10% and you've got this, hold on, you've got this last one, after I let my fish finder run on it for 12 hours, during that 11th hour and you have only one, I guess it would be, and you only have only one light at 10%, it starts blinking to let you know, look, you're on your last 10%. So then what I did was I took my charger cord 
And let me get something real quick. I have this Anchor uh, 20,000 milliamps. So um, what I did was just to see if I could, because I always carry this with me. Even when I'm on my kayak, I carry this with me to charge my phone. So if I had this in my kayak and it was in its battery box, I figured, okay, well, what if I ran this and I ran out for some reason? Could I take the power from here and piggyback it to this so that this could keep running my fish finder? So what I did while it was still running the fish finder and this start and this was blinking on its last 10%, I uh, went to the end, I went to the end port, I put in my, I guess it's a micro USB. I put that in here. I took this and I put it into my charger. I started my charger up. So I was trying to charge this, my, my, uh, wilderness battery with this. And what happened was, see right now it's charging. You see that's why it's got, well, no. Yeah, still charging. But what happened when I attached this to this, while this was attached to my fish finder that was on, as soon as I plugged this in, the fish finder turned off. So I'm thinking that this has, this that you can't run anything while this is charging. And, uh, so that was kind of like a bummer. I, I didn't plug it into the wall because I just didn't and, and use the um, USB straight in, you know, right out of a, a wall outlet. I didn't want to do that while I was trying to run the fish finder. I didn't want anything to break. But I can tell you that when I was trying to charge this from this, it turned off my fish finder. So you can't do that. It won't let you do that. But if I turn off the fish finder and I take this and I plug it into here, it will transfer the in, the the juice from here to this, which is which is really good, because I've got a lot of these. I can I, we take these camping all the time, so um, you can always transfer from here to here and, and take extra energy with you. Because when you have these, these are only USB, and my fish finder doesn't run off a of USB; it only runs off of 12 volt. And that's the thing with here with with this, with only having one 12 volt option here, I'm not sure if this will allow me to put my splitter on, because I was gonna, I was gonna attach this to a SAE connection, and then add a, a SAE connect, a connection that had a splitter that had four SAE, so I could run my fish finder from one, I could run uh, my, my lights, I could run a couple of USB ports for my GoPro cameras, and maybe some, some hatch lights or something all of that, but I'm not sure how much of a draw that this one 12 volt port can take, how many amps it can actually take without the internal. Um, this, this has some type of comp uh, circuit or something that, will, that just stops it. If you draw too much, it'll just turn the battery off and then you have to reset it in order for it to turn back on. So I don't know how much I can draw from this to where when I add my splitter, if it's going to shut down the whole thing or not if it's gonna to be too much power. What I was wanting was two of these. If I could have two of these so that, you, so that I can run all of that off of here, that would be great. But um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to, to let you guys know that this thing does not turn off any, any longer. So it's a good option. Well, if you like my video, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you can, go ahead and press that little bell there. That way you'll get notified when Ever I post new videos.